Lisa Loud. She is the resident genius and unconventional inventor of the Loud House. What was that? It's science. You wouldn't understand. But even geniuses make mistakes. Ah! So, Mom and Dad asked Lisa to find new homes for some of her less destructive inventions. That's why we made the Lisa Loud Invention Interactive Guide to help us. Wow, look at all these amazing inventions. Now, who should we start with? How about we find something for the man with the plan, Lincoln Loud? In a house full of chaos, a little protection could go a long way especially against a flying elbow from Lunatic Lynn. Uh. Oh. Uh. 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 One, two, three, you're out. Ouch. How about this little catapult to protect his room? <laughs> oh, you wanna play? Let's play. Incoming! And the catapult's out. What else does Lincoln like? I doubt there are any comic books in here. Oh, how about these VR goggles? Lisa can install the latest video games on them. Behold, a simulation of a future made possible by my latest research. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. With moves like that, I'd say we found our first match. Who's next? Hmm, wait a minute. It looks like this invention already has Luann's name on it. I wonder what it's for. And that's why I propose we cryogenically freeze Luann for April Fool's Day. She can't prank us if she's frozen solid. Oh, come on! She'll maintain brain function. Well, a little. Yikes. The siblings are right. We can do better. Anything in here for Luann's stand-up routine? Ooh, how about Gravy Bot? Luann could add it to her prop comedy act. Did someone say gravy? Perfect. With GravyBot, those two will surely be a laughing stock. <laughs> Get it? Okay, what else do we have in Lisa's pile? These are some cool looking shoes. No way! Gravity shoes. Now, which sister could we give these to? Hmm. It would have to be someone who wouldn't mind hanging upside down for long periods at a time. This is giving me a migraine. Yeah, and I'm getting a headache. Lucy, of course. With Lucy on the ceiling, there's no way her siblings will see her coming. Let's hope she doesn't spook them too badly. Ugh. Hey, Lola. Not that she needed help. Next up is Lola. This detangler spray looks like the perfect thing to keep her primped and pageant ready. You should have specified that you wanted to keep it. Ooh, I hope that grows back quickly. Wait, do you smell that? Oh, what is that? It smells like a thousand angry skunks. Ugh. Nope, not that. Maybe Dad's cooking up something in the kitchen? I finally perfected my new cabbage casserole. Wow, Daddy. Smells great. Oh, definitely not that either. No, this smell is something delicious. Something chocolatey. I've constructed a chocolate fountain. It started out as a nuclear fusion device, but I accidentally dropped my chocolate bar in it. Psh, who needs a nuclear fusion device anyway? This delicious scientific accident can be the chocolatey centerpiece at Lola's next tea party. Lana's up next. And, uh-oh, it looks like she brought in some fleas along for the ride. Hmm, there's flea powder in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Huh, why is it bubbling? Lisa, what did you do? <coughs> Apologies. Turns out my flea powder is more potent than I realized. <coughs> on second thought, we should probably hold off on that. Maybe we can find something or someone in here who loves trash as much as Lana does. I call him Homo Trashilius, or Trashy for short. <laughs> Aw, Trashy's cute in a trashy kind of way. And with that, these compost companions are ready to splash in the trash. We're cruising. Next up is Lisa's roommate, Lily. 
If there's one thing Lisa knows about Lily, it's that she can produce a lot of... P.U. I think I prefer the cabbage casserole. But don't worry, Lisa has the perfect invention for a diaper blowout. Or a mountain of them. It's the Megawatt Generator. <gasps> We're getting... This is genius! Fresh energy coming at you. This one's gotta be good for at least 75 watts. Thanks for the assist, Lincoln. At this rate, Lily could power all of Royal Woods and probably half of Hazel Tucky, too. Okay, now here's an interesting invention. Ghost pepper mouthwash. Mouthwash? <laughs> My special ghost pepper formula. <laughs> the tingle means it's working. Woo! That's some serious heat. And there's only one sister who can handle it. Lynn Loud coming in hot. <laughs> Still not hot enough. This might even make brushing your teeth even more fun. I can brush faster than you! Only three sisters left, and it's Lori's turn. Hmm, what about these voice-activated mechanical arms? Lori can use them during her shifts at Dad's restaurant. Can we get our bill? Pepper mill coming up. Wait, pepper makes me... Robot arms, stop, stop! Two chopped salads, you got it. No, that's not what I meant! Condiments coming right up. Let's hang on to those for now before they activate again. What's in this concoction labeled flowers? They're not combustible flowers, are they? Whoop! That was a close one. You know the old saying, fresh as a bio-reconstructed daisy. These would be perfect for Lori. And maybe we can convince Lisa to give the recipe to Bobby for an instant date night. Lenny's up next, and I think she'll love this moisturizing cream. Huh, funny that Lisa had normal moisturizer in this pile. My face feels funny. <laughs> I guess it wasn't so normal. Hmm, what else is in here? Oh, this necklace might be the perfect accessory for Lenny. What does it do? Okay, class, who can recite the Gettysburg Address? Four score and I mean, 85 Elm Street. We'll have Lisa turn that feature off, but I think Lenny will totes rock this. Speaking of rocking it, who's ready for the encore? Luna is the final number in this sibling set list. But what can we give the person who can play everything? Rockin! If only she could play all of those instruments at the same time. Wait a minute. The mechanical arms! This will take one-man band to a whole new level. And that's everything. With new homes for her inventions, Lisa can start working on her next big thing in peace. Oh, or maybe not. This is what we in the scientific community call an oopsie. Well, thanks for watching. 